Hi guys, it's Elizabeth Pfeiffer from ElizabethPfeiffer.com and today's Soulful Shift Kicker Facebook question is about self-care. So self-care is huge. Now if you're a highly sensitive person, an empath or clairsentience or someone who takes on other people's emotions, then we are calling you our vibrant sensitives. You are the vibrant sensitive. I'm a vibrant sensitive. I've been dealing with other people's energy for a really, really long time. But what can happen is if you don't take self-care as a vibrant sensitive, then things can really start to feel heavy and dense. You start feeling other people's emotions. Your body actually feels physically heavier because your body holds energy. Your energy fields hold energy. And they're showing me SpongeBob SquarePants. Do you ever see that episode where he's just blown up because he's has so much that he's soaked up? That's a vibrant sensitive who isn't doing self-care. <laughs> so today we're going to talk a little bit about um, how to take care of yourself as a vibrant sensitive. And so I'm looking at my notes because I did talk to the guides and I just want to make sure that um, we're covering all our bases. The first thing, remove yourself from social media. Vibrant sensitives are particularly um, prone to picking up energy through social media channels because mass consciousness is infused in social media. And when you're hooked up into the mass consciousness, you are actually thinking, feeling, and believing everything on the planet, right? And it's not yours. It's not yours. So the first step to self-care for a vibrant sensitive is remove yourself from social media. Um, and there's another video somewhere around here about social media and alignment. So you want to really unplug yourself seven day social media detox minimum for a vibrant sensitive. That is step one. Step two, after you are deplugged or unplugged, you want to make sure that your energy is clean and clear, right? So how do we do that? Um, because if you're not familiar with energy work, you're thinking, you know, self care is like, I'm going to go have some wine. Um, that's a interesting option, but that's not what we mean. Um, so we're, th we're thinking energy clearing um, is, let me give you some ideas. So what they're saying here is really taking care of your energy fields, and that is salt baths, right? Salt baths is a detox. When you detox your energy with salt, you're actually detoxing the body as well. So it's a 20 minute Himalayan sea salt bath with some essential oils, or you can even use Epsom salts. Soak in the tub. 20 minutes as often as you like. Um, if you're doing the seven day detox, make sure you do it at least once during that week and detox your fields in that way. The other thing is you can make salt sprays. They're very, very easy. I have a video somewhere. If I don't have it uh, listed in the comments, um, head over to Soulful Shift Kickers and ask me for it and we'll send it to you there. You also want to make sure that you can ground, so uh, lots of grounding exercises. And sound healing works really great too. I love, I have lots of clients who do the salt bath, they do the detox, and then they play sound healing music while they're in the tub 20 minutes. I mean, that is perfect. You're, you're really going to like squeeze that sponge out. So those are some self-care tips on how to clean and clear your energy fields. Now. I will tell you that at this point in time, I would sign up with someone, whoever it is that you work with, and get your energy fields clean and clear, um, it sounds awful, professionally. <laughs> and the difference between that is when you have a practitioner working on you, they can remove things like cords, hooks, attachments, um, things that you ordinarily wouldn't even think of or consider. So that would be kind of like a deep clean. And I would do that once a month if you're a vibrant sensitive. Um, the third piece is how do you maintain a balanced energy field? Um, so that is in combination with the salt baths and all that other work, what I would also recommend is body work in conjunction, right? So you have mind, body, spirit. So you wanna make sure your mind's in the right place, your body's taken care of, and now it's time to do the energy or spirit work, um, or rather for the body. So those are things like acupuncture. Those are things like chiropractic work. Those are things like massages, yoga, exercise, physical activity. You want to make sure that your body, which is housing you, right, and it is um, affecting you 
because of its own grid system that it works with is all balanced and cleared and detoxed as well. So you, you want to combine the two, right? So body, mind, spirit. So those are some suggestions on keeping yourself balanced. Now, what's really important during this time of detox or when you're in the midst of it and trying to stay balanced with your self-care is going to be really focusing on holding boundaries with other people. When you are saturated and when you are taking in everybody's energy, you will find that people start to irritate you more and they start asking and short pulling at your energy and just wanting, 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 wanting. And you're feeling as if you have nothing left to give. And the truth is, is you don't, you're really kind of type tapped out and depleted and feeling drained. And so when people come up and they ask you for even more, it even makes you more drained and more tired. So this is the time to hold your boundaries really firm. Say no, whatever it is. Um, make sure that you are, I don't want to say sticking up for yourself, but you're holding that boundary of saying, no, my energy is too important right now and I, I can't do this for you. You're going to have to do this on your own. So you want to say no when it doesn't feel right and you want to make sure that you are taking care of yourself. That is a self-care interaction. When you set boundaries with other people, you are saying, no, I have to take care of myself. Um, and if that's the case and you're feeling overwhelmed, then absolutely make no your best friend. Um, so you want to do that. And last but not least, um, putting, yeah, and, and I'm just reading here, putting your energetic needs first. And that's what happens when you, when you say no, is you put your own energetic needs first. You're saying, no, I'm too depleted. I can't do this. Um, Lastly, we're going to give you a little bit of a process to help you clear your field. So this is kind of like what I would call my emergency go-to. So when you are pulled out and tugged in and <laughs> washing everything up, um, or you're in, the, in a pinch and you're having a, a bit of an emergency, you're just going to ask creator, your source, higher self, whatever it is that you use, creator of all that is, clear my energy fields <laughs> and take it to the light for seven and all and just have a little bit of that lift happen for you it's like getting um it's like getting someone to pull out a clorox wipey and just kind of wiping your fields down for a little bit just make that request and just allow that to come in that doesn't fix everything you still have to hold boundaries you still have to do your detox you still have to unplug but in those events when things are just so out of hand and you are so overwhelmed and you just need a sweep just turn it over give it upstairs and let them take care of it so we hope those tips were helpful we'd like to hear some more about them in the comments if you have any experience with them let us know and if you found this to be helpful please feel free to share with your social networks talk to you soon bye